A witness shows four children crying face down on the pavement, two of them in handcuffs being detained by police. The youngest is six years old. I don't give a damn what nobody say. That's police brutality. Brittany Gilliam says she took her daughter, sister, and nieces out to a nail salon Sunday morning when officers with the Aurora, Colorado Police Department arrived. And next thing I know, the police pull up silently behind them and had guns drawn on the children. Police say they were responding to reports of a stolen vehicle, but soon discovered it was not the family's blue SUV that was reported missing. Rather, it was a motorcycle with the same license plate number from a different state. Perhaps adding to the confusion, police say Gilliam's SUV had been reported stolen earlier this year. Like he's like something about the car being reported stolen. And I was like, this happened months ago. You guys cleared it. The family was released and is calling for change. It's like they don't care. Who am I going to call when my life is in danger? Aurora police say when contacting a suspected stolen car, they're trained to do a high risk stop with weapons drawn and occupants on the ground. But the city's new police chief now wants to explore new practices, saying we must allow our officers to have discretion and to deviate from this process when different scenarios present themselves. I'm really deeply troubled about what those children went through, and I, I hope that the family will allow me to, to do what I can to make it right. The department is already under scrutiny for its treatment of black people following the 2019 death of Elijah McClain, which is under investigation. Now, Aurora PD is apologizing for what happened Sunday to this family, saying it's investigating and offering therapy to the traumatized kids. Joe Fron